Hello, everyone. Here we are back again with Kinsai series informative video four, explaining differential relay testing using K31 automatic relay test kit. In this quick video, we will test differential in few organized steps. First, directly importing the X real file from relay software settings. Second, selecting template of P642 in Kinsai software and importing the X real file in Kinsai software. Step 3. Creating an automatic test plane for this binds curve, shooting testing, binds curve search, and homelink restraint. Step 4. Play in the fold and get in the report. To start with, we can click on Open and select Test Template from the Template Library. In this case, we will click on New to import KRT test file with Exist Test Plane for Differential Relay P643. Let's now enter in the Snader software and import XRail file format. We will enter the test object settings of KRT software and import that XRail file which we export from Snader software. After import x file, all the settings should be imported, which include bind crew settings and the homelink restraint settings of the relay. It also includes the power transformer technique parameter. We can clearly see in test center window. User has selected three test models to run automatically one by one. So we just have to press on play command. The relay test kit will automatically test all the faults in bind crew shoot model, and then in bind crew search model, and then in the homelink restraint model. In this advanced software, we can do intermodal testing. In easy world, we can test Monfax relay in single test plan. Whenever we are testing a bind curve, we have I binds on X axis and we have I differential Y axis. The blue line is the curve characteristic of relay. Any force which is under this bind curve will not trip. In bind curve search test, K31 applies a series of faults and internally examining the tripping and restraining characteristic. Based on that software draws the boundary of the binds curve, we can apply all types of 9 to 9 and 9 to ground for during the test. While the test is proceeding, let's brush up our few concepts and different homelink restraint. Suppose we are going to energize a transformer. Transformer we have in rush current, which around three times of the full load current. So what we need to do for preventing differential protection operation due to in rush current, this requirement call for homelink restraining in differential protection of transformer. The in rush current of transformer, if analyzed, is within second homelink component. So we can use the fact to prevent operation of differential protection. Therefore, the second homelink restraining is provided in transformer differential protection. Normally, the setting of second homelink restraining is covered 20%, which means if the second homelink component in differential relay is more than 20%, the differential relay will not operate. Thus, we will think that is because of transformer in rush current. But if the second homelink component in differential current of relay is less than 20%, the differential protection relay will operate. Similarly, due to overfluxing of transformer, the transformer current is within fifth homelink current may happen, so that transformer is overfluxed for some short time period around two seconds. So for this short period of overfluxing should cause the protection of relay. 
please note that during overfluxing, the differential current ID will increase, which will operate differential relay. Therefore, to prevent operation of differential relay due to overfluxing, this harmonic restraint is provided in such a manner. If the fifth harmonic component in differential relay is more than 25%, then the differential protection relay will not operate. If this harmonic component in differential relay is less than 25%, the relay will operate. Once test plane is executed, the report is formed automatically or pass or fail in chain detail of test. Hope you finding our this video useful and understanding Kinsight test kit. Keep watching our Kinsight informative series video. Thank you.